Alright, you need to quit your cheap hits of dopamine. I'm gonna be super honest with you. You don't want to do this stuff. You don't want to have dopamine going around and like doing all this shit. Let me tell you a story. So, I was I was used to. I grew up in this society. I grew up around people where it was normal to, like I was saying, I, it was. I grew up where it's normal to be constantly stimulated around this instant gratification kind of stuff, and it's really not all it's cracked up to be, because it distracts you from what a shitty existence you're living. You don't want to be doing that, living that kind of life. You and all your like TikToks and Instagram and Netflix series. It's all just a fucking scheme to distract you and to keep you a little um, complacent, little stationary bitch. It's it, it's trying to keep you from like revolting and trying to become a better person, you know, improve your life. It's preventing you from becoming uncomfortable with your situation. Because if we can, ju if the matrix can just keep you like in this comfortable little state where you're not like too upset, you're not too joyed, then you're gonna like, if you're like, yeah, if you're not too upset about something, you're not gonna be inspired to take action, make change. So they're, they're just keeping you complacent and not wanting to level up in the world, maybe get a better girlfriend, get more money, try to make change because you're just satisfied watching a Netflix show. So you need to cut that instant gratification bullshit. All the stuff you do, all those little habits you do, if it's even if it's like just watching videos online, video games, the occasional Netflix series, you need to cut that shit out and just get uncomfortable with your situation. Once you cut out like Netflix and YouTube and TikTok, and you and you start to realize like my life's pretty shit, you know, I don't even have that much money. My room's a fucking mess. I live in this shitty little neighborhood. But I could do so much better. Why don't I like take action and try to improve this? You look at your situation, you see like all these people are like suffering, I guess. They're like poor and you could help them out. You could make massive change if you wanted to. You could like get money to help whoever's like in that situation or whatever. But the way the world's set up right now it's going to keep you complacent. It's not going to, it's not, the education system doesn't raise leaders. It raises, like, employees, followers, people who just do what they're told and don't stand up for themselves. Basically, it's creating slaves. It's, and I call it slavery because they're basically, they can get you, give you, they can get you to spend all your time and energy for a piece of paper that they print. The Federal Reserve can just print as much money as they want and hand it out and make you work your entire life for it. That's slavery. If you want to actually start living a meaningful life, you need to put that instant gratification bullshit away and start observing your situation. Become aware that and not everything's all right. It's okay to like Get a little pissed at your situation. Not always being this content. Like, nah, everything's alright. I love my life. Be honest with yourself. It's pretty fucking lame. Unless you're like a millionaire or something. And you have the top G life. What are you doing? You're just wasting your time. You're a peasant. You're in... What's it called? Mediocrity. You're living in mediocrity. And you're not pushing the limit. You're not trying to become better than everybody else you just f follow the bar that's been set for you go to university get a shit job or whatever you don't try to like push past you know what the potential is set out for you you don't try to surpass that today's sponsor is my own mentorship i created a mentorship and it's going to improve your fitness and your discipline if you're interested first link in the description down below i'm not trying to scam you out of your money Later, you can book a free sales call if you're actually that, like, suspicious of it. I've never scammed anybody out of their money. If you wanted it back, I'd give it to you. I have no interest in dissatisfying customers and building a bad reputation because that'd make me look bad. Do I look like a guy to scam you? Anyways, if you're interested, first link. If not, it's whatever. So 
see you guys in my next video.